Malware, broad term for software designed to disrupt, damage, or gain unauthorized access. Types include viruses, VORMs, Trojans, ransomware, etc. Impact, system disruption, data theft, and unauthorized access. Trojan horse. A Trojan is a type of malware that misleads users about its true intent by disguising itself as a harmless program. Trojans are typically spread through social engineering, such as deceptive email attachments that appear innocuous, fake advertisements that prompt users to click on them. The damage caused by a Trojan depends on the specific malware. Unlike viruses and VORMs, Trojans generally do not replicate themselves by infecting other files or spreading to other systems. Effects allows data theft and remote control of the system. Example, Zeus Trojan targeted banking credentials globally. Virus. A computer virus is a type of malware that replicates itself by modifying other programs and inserting its own code. Requires a host program to write its code into and executes when the host runs. If the replication is successful, the affected areas are considered infected. Similar to biological viruses, computer viruses require a host to spread and execute. Common effects of a virus include system failure or crash, corruption of data, wasting computer resources, for example, CPU or memory, increasing maintenance costs, stealing personal information. Worm. A worm is a standalone malware program that replicates itself to spread to other computers. It typically uses a computer network to propagate, exploiting security vulnerabilities on target systems to gain access. Once a computer is infected, the worm scans for additional devices to infect, uses the newly infected computers as hosts to continue spreading. This replication process occurs exponentially, allowing the worm to rapidly infect many systems. Worms usually cause harm by consuming network bandwidth even if they don't directly damage files. Unlike viruses, which often corrupt or modify files, many VORMs are designed solely to spread without altering the systems they infect. Example, the Morris Worm 1988, one of the earliest VORMs to spread widely. Ransomware. Ransomware is a type of malware that blocks access to the victim's personal data and computer demands a ransom to restore access. Some simpler ransomware locks the system without causing any file damage. More advanced ransomware uses techniques such as encryption to make files inaccessible until the ransom is paid. Example, WannaCry, which caused global disruptions in 2017. Rootkit. A rootkit is a program or collection of malicious tools that provides a threat actor with remote access and control over a computer. While some rootkits have legitimate uses, for example, remote end-user support, most open a backdoor to introduce additional malware or conduct further network attacks. Rootkits often evade detection by deactivating antivirus software. Removal of a rootkit can be difficult or nearly impossible, especially when it resides in the kernel the core program of the operating system with complete control over the system. RAT A RAT Remote Access Trojan is a type of malware that provides remote control of a computer via the internet. Once a computer is infected with a RAT, the attacker can control the mouse and type on the system, access the webcam and record activity, monitor user actions, such as keystrokes. Most of the time, a rat operates silently, primarily functioning as a keylogger to steal personal information. Brute Force Attack A brute force attack involves an attacker submitting numerous passwords or passphrases in an attempt to guess the correct one. Systematically checking all possible combinations until the correct one is found using automated software. The efficiency of this attack depends on the complexity of the password. Shorter and simpler passwords are easier to crack quickly. Longer passwords may take hundreds of years to break. To mitigate brute force attacks, 
most websites temporarily block accounts or systems after multiple failed login attempts. Dirdo's attack. A DDoS attack occurs when an attacker aims to make a computer or connection unavailable. This is typically done by flooding the target with excessive traffic or files to overload the system. The goal of a DDoS attack is to prevent legitimate requests from being fulfilled. In a DDoS attack, the incoming traffic comes from multiple sources, often from other infected computers, forming a botnet. Impact causes website downtime and potential revenue loss. Defense use firewalls and DDoS mitigation services. Spyware Spyware is a type of malware that infects your computer and secretly collects personal information. The information gathered may include websites you visit, files you download, usernames and passwords, payment information, emails you send and receive. After collecting the data, it is typically sent to a cyber criminal who may sell it or use it for malicious purposes. Variants, keyloggers, adware, example, fints be used for covert surveillance by governments. Keylogger. A keylogger is a type of malware that secretly records every key pressed on a keyboard, sends the recorded data to a cyber criminal. The data captured by a keylogger typically includes passwords, confidential information, a keylogger is considered a type of spyware. Adware. Adware is a type of malware that installs itself on your system without your knowledge, often during the download of other software. Displays advertisements while the user browses the internet. Some adware programs also function as spyware, collecting data to be sold or used for targeted advertising. The most recognizable adware often opens unclosable pop-up windows, impact, slows system performance. Fileless malware. Fileless malware operates only in system memory RAM, leaving no trace on the hard drive. Most fileless malware is deleted once the computer is rebooted, making it more difficult to trace. Hackers use fileless malware for quick and stealthy operations, such as gathering data rapidly, Cryptojacking. Cryptojacking has the act of secretly using a computer to mine cryptocurrencies. The goal of cryptojacking is to stay silent while mining as many coins as possible for profit. If your computer becomes a victim of cryptojacking, it slows down your system performance and can damage hardware over time. Malvertising. Malvertising refers to the use of advertisements on reputable websites to spread malware. The goal of malvertising is to bypass firewalls or safety precautions to reach users who might not otherwise see the malicious ads. Malvertising can be easily spread across a large number of legitimate websites without directly compromising them. No user interaction such as clicking is needed for the infection to occur. Backdoor A backdoor refers to any method that allows users both authorized and unauthorized to bypass normal security measures. Once inside, cyber criminals can use a backdoor to steal personal and financial data, install additional malware, hijack devices, example, used in the SolarWinds attack to infiltrate networks. Hybrid malware. Hybrid malware refers to the use of two or more types of malware by an attacker in a single attack. Common combinations of hybrid malware include Trojans and Vorms, adware and viruses. It has greater potential for damage and faster spread. RAM Scraper RAM Scraper refers to a type of malware that installs itself on points of sale or systems. Collects personal information, such as credit card numbers and PIN of consumers. Example targets breach in 2013, where millions of credit card details were stolen. Wiper A wiper is a type of malware that is designed to erase a computer's memory without the user's consent. Destroys all useful information in the process. It causes irreversible data loss and is often used in cyber warfare. Example, Shamoon, which targeted the Saudi oil industry. Rogue security software Rogue security software 
is a type of internet scam that deceives users into thinking their computer is infected with a virus, tries to trick them into paying for a fake tool that claims to remove malware but instead installs malicious software. It is commonly spread through malvertising. Browser hijacking. Browser hijacking refers to unwanted software that alters a web browser settings without the user's consent, can inject unwanted ads, change the home page, or modify the search engine. These programs are often bundled with other software during installation and may be installed accidentally. Phishing. Deceptive tactics used to trick people into revealing sensitive information, common methods, fake emails or messages posing as legitimate entities, for example, banks, government, spoofed websites mimicking real ones to capture login credentials, variants, spear phishing, targeted, personalized attacks, whaling, high profile targets like executives. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. See you next time.